What's up everybody, welcome to the very first episode of another series I'm starting focusing on The Legend of Zelda for Wii U. I know I'm getting started pretty late in this as a ton of news has already came out, so I'll just be going over something interesting that's been making its way around the internet lately. Then I'll go into something that I've been thinking since the reveal of the Wii U. One of the biggest rumors surrounding the new Legend of Zelda is that it is copying the landscape from the original Zelda. As interesting as this is, I've also seen people debating that it will take place in Hyrule from Zelda 2. People are even saying it's reusing maps from other games as well. A lot of fans look at these rumors and dismiss them as being completely wrong, and won't even amuse the idea of it being right. Interestingly enough though, this could very well be the case. Using Twilight Princess and A Link Between Worlds as an example, if we look back at Twilight Princess, the map is an almost identical reimagining of Ocarina of Time, but on a much grander scale, with a few differences. Within both games, we can find Lake Hilly in the south, southwest region, Kakiri Forest or the Lost Woods in the south, southeast region, Kakariko Village in the east, northeast, and the Desert or Gerudo Valley in the west region in both games. Now as I mentioned earlier, both maps have a few differences, but the similarities are a little hard for me to just overlook. Moving on to A Link Between Worlds, Nintendo reused the entire map, and even reimagined a couple of the same dungeons from A Link to the Past. So I don't think that it's entirely unlikely Zelda Wii U will be reusing some of the same maps and locations from other games as well. I could go into more detail on this, but I think my friend McIntyre Productions says it best. I'll link his video in the description so you can watch it after this one. Now moving on from map similarities to one thing that I've noticed from the very beginning of the Wii U's life cycle, multiplayer in Zelda Wii U. To start off, I would like to say that Nintendo has said numerous times, not just with Zelda, but from multiple games within the series, that while working on multiple games they tend to share ideas or come up with something in one game that they reuse in another. Examples of this can be found with how the touchscreen aspects of Ocarina of Time were reused in A Link Between Worlds, and even the Wind Waker HD, or the dungeon progression toward the end of Skyward Sword, and how it was expanded upon in A Link Between Worlds, allowing us to conquer them in any order we see fit. So think back to the launch of the Wii U. What was the first playable experience we had with Zelda on the Wii U? Give up? Well, it was Nintendo Land. We were able to play four-player local multiplayer in the game. One person controlled the gamepad, and up to three others could control the Wii remote. To add to this, during a 2013 Nintendo Direct, before Zelda Wii U was ever shown off, we were given a small bit of information. The mission for Zelda Wii U was to rethink the conventions of Zelda. This includes completing dungeons in certain order, and playing by yourself. Nintendo wants to set aside those conventions. We briefly touched on the dungeon order changes used from Skyward Sword, but my main focus is the multiplayer. Most Zelda games are single player, but lately Nintendo has been experimenting with multiplayer aspects. The trading aspect from the DS games, the verse mode found in A Link Between Worlds, and the brand new Miiverse integration added into the Wind Waker. And let's not forget about Four Swords or Four Swords Adventure. These games weren't too popular, mainly because Four Swords Adventure on the GameCube required each player to have their own Game Boy Advance and the right accessories. Needless to say, not everyone had all the items required to play the game correctly, so it never reached the audience Nintendo wanted, which is sad because it really was one of the best games on the GameCube. With the Wii U, if it will act the same as Nintendo Land, then everyone already has a Wii U gamepad, and most of us already have a few Wii remotes laying around. Surely Nintendo doesn't want to just throw away all of the research they put into Skyward Sword with the 1-to-1 -one -one motion control. So imagine if the gamepad was just optional, and we were given the chance to play with the gamepad or another controller like in most games, such as Mario. Say you're using the gamepad for its advantages of the second touchscreen, but you want a different experience. So you pick up your Wii Remote and have that same one-to-one -one motion control we fell in love with in Skyward Sword. Now imagine you're playing the game with your gamepad and three of your friends are using Wii Remotes. The key to making it a great multiplayer experience though is not requiring it to be multiplayer but giving it an option to be. Allow Link in the game to have brothers, sisters, or even a friend, whether it be another human, a Deku, a Zora, a Garan, a Skull Kid, or a new race entirely. I mean, the franchise has tons of races to choose from. As Nintendo has said many times, they reuse ideals from one game to influence another. So maybe the mask changing abilities found within Jorah's mask made its way into Zelda Wii U somehow. 
obviously not copying the mask aspect directly, but possibly allowing player 2 to pick from one of the other races and join you in the game. Or they could simply give us an equipable item that could allow us to split into more characters, such as the Four Sword or a brand new item unique to this game. Think back to the mission in Sakon's hideout, when you're getting the Sun's Mask from Majora's Mask. We had to take turns between Link and Cafe, where the similar experience had been on Hourglass, when you had to switch between Link and Zelda. Imagine how much easier and more fun the game could have been if we were simply given a chance for a friend to pick up a controller and help us with these parts, and continue playing out from there. When the DS came out, Super Mario 64 had a multiplayer remake. Imagine if Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask 3D gave us the same treatment. Just imagine riding your opponent across Hyrule, beside your friend playing as a rolling drawn, racing to see who reaches the place first. Using a boat to get to another section of the map that's blocked off by water while your friend swims using a sword. Using a hookshot to go from tree to tree while your friend does it simply by being a daycare. Or simply fighting side by side with your friend playing as another weapon wielding human or any of the many races featured within the universe. Oh wait, this already happened. Not fully, but Hyrule Warriors is a great example. Now just imagine if it was a full adventure game instead of a fighting game. Maybe this is why Nintendo wanted Hyrule Warriors to be different from the normal Zelda game. The developers of Hyrule stated many times that they wanted to include other aspects of the Zelda series within their game. But Aonuma wanted them just to make a game that he wasn't capable of making. So they made it more focused on how their normal Dynasty Warrior games are. Maybe he did this so there wouldn't be a competing multiplayer Zelda game for when his comes out. Considering the vast options of fun and unique gameplay mechanics that could be added by letting the game be multiplayer, and previous statements and experimentations from Nintendo makes me think the Zelda Wii U will in some way or another have multiplayer. How that is accomplished? and whether it will be online or local co-op is a mystery though. But maybe more will be revealed in a future Nintendo Direct or D3. These are all just my thoughts and speculations, but I would love to hear yours as well. Please let me know what you think Zelda Wii will be in the comments below, and whether it should incorporate multiplayer in some way or another, and if so, how. Would you rather see simple Miiverse implementation, like in A Link Between Worlds or The Wind Waker HD? or a full multiplayer game, such as Hyrule Warriors or Four Swords Adventure. And as always, thank you for watching.